Hey, it's your favorite science teacher. We're gonna do part two of this lab and uh, I'm going to record it and you can get to watch and see the results here. All right, first one is the salt water. This is the salt water. I, how I know it's the salt water is because I tasted it. It tasted horrible. And the first thing you can recognize is that this is very flimsy now, okay? All right, so it's very flimsy. All right, the mass of it, you can see. It's 8.5 grams, all right? And if you remember from the other day, that actually did, is a reduction from what it was. So this is the after. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the diameter. And when I take the diameter, you can see what it is right there. It's about, and I'm gonna measure it actually across like this and it can be better. So you can kind of see right here, it's about 4.8, 4.9, about 4.8 centimeters. Okay, and if you remember the previous time, that's actually also a reduction from the last time. All right, so in the salt water, it got a little bit smaller, okay? All right, we're gonna get our next potato out. And this one's a little different this time. It's much firmer. You can see that it's very much firmer here. I can't bend it. All right, let's see what we got here. It's 12.7 grams. And that again also is more mass than we had last time. All right, and it's more mass than we had last time. All right. All right, so let's take the measurement of this too. All right, if you look on here, that's about 5.1, maybe 5.2 centimeters. And if you look, okay, if you remember previously, that was smaller than that. And so that's bigger. So those are our data. The one in the regular water is firmer and it's got larger. The one in the salt water is actually smaller, all right? That's it. Write your conclusion and your data. Put this data that you wrote down should be in your uh, results section of your experiment.